Well, when I hear the term Spirit-led, I think, of course, of the Holy Spirit, who has promised to all of us who have made the decision to try to follow Christ. Being Spirit-led is not just important to Trinity. I think it's important to every, every individual, every family, every community, um, especially every church, right? I can't think of a time when Trinity wasn't led by the Spirit. I mean, the, the results are all around us. Walk down the first floor of the education building on Sunday and see all those beautiful kids that are being nurtured and educated and grown in faith. Uh, the, the, the dozens and dozens of ministries, all for the right purposes, uh, all for reasons of love and compassion that we have done. I don't think that we could all come together through all different walks of life and um, just have a sense of peace for a moment together um, if we didn't feel it in our heart and feel like we wanted to be led by something much bigger than us. I just don't think we can follow Christ without being led by the Spirit. Well, you know, I think in all honesty, being Spirit-led is simple. We complicate things way too much in this life. We don't have to go back to basics. Follow your heart. You know, God put those dreams and desires in there, and uh, it's up to Him to fulfill them, but it's up to us to listen. And we can't do that if we're not Spirit-led. Uh, if we're not led by the Spirit, we might as well close our doors because we're not living into the faith that we proclaim. So uh, without following the Spirit, uh, we will run off the rails and not follow Christ. So I think it's absolutely essential to our, to this body of faith, this, this body of Christ called Trinity, to each one of us and to us cumulatively as the church that we're called to be.